High voltage test is one of the important test in electrical industry and every switchgear equipment has to undergo it. So if you want to know what is the standard procedure of high voltage test, what are the standards applicable for this test, uh, what is the procedure, what is the purpose and if you also want to uh, have a look at the practical of high voltage test, watch the video. Before getting to the procedure and uh, to the practical, you need to first understand few things like uh, this high voltage test is, you know, categorized into two. It is also included in type test and it is also included in routine test. Now let me brief you about type test and routine test. So type test is the test that you need to carry out on the few selected uh, uh, equipments from the bunch of equipments right and you cannot carry out this test at your premises so for uh, to carry out this test you have to go like for example say ERDA electrical research and development associations which is the government of India's uh, project then CPRI central power research institute which is one of again uh, government of India's project and after that is Pahela which is uh, situated in Berlin Germany these are the few uh, uh, you know organization which as which is certified for uh, type test and sometimes IIT Madras also carry out the type test so if you have the type test your it indicates that your product is of good quality and that is why uh, carrying out type test and getting the certificate of it is important and routine test is the test that you need to carry out on each equipment you manufacture right and you can take this out in your premises also so a high voltage test comes under both type test and the routine test now this high voltage test is also called as power frequency voltage test right now many of the people get confused here what is power frequency so there is nothing confusion here power frequency is the frequency at which we generate our power transmitted and distributed right so in India it is 50 Hertz and in some other countries it could be 60 Hertz or 50 Hertz or both right so this is power frequency now this test including the impulse withstand test is categorized or it is grouped into a dielectric test both are called as dielectric cell uh, test so you don't have to get confused in this uh, whether if it says it is high voltage test it is power frequency voltage test or it is dielectric test it is one and the same right clear now let's see what is the purpose of high voltage test why should we carry out this what it indicates so the purpose of this test is to check the effectiveness of insulation right whether your insulation is capable of carrying out the heavy voltage during fault uh, or not we have to check it and to check it we have a standard test which is called as high voltage test or power frequency withstand test now procedure for this is same as in a routine test and in uh, type test but now let's see the procedure now the standard procedure is you know given in the IEC standard IEC stands for International Electrotechnical Commission 60060-1 so in this standard you will find the standard procedure for dielectric test and this standard is applies to dielectric test with AC DC or impulse voltage or combination of uh, the this voltage and the equipment who is above 100 volt or 1 kV so you will find a standard procedure in this document and this procedure is used worldwide right in every type test uh, uh, organization or every uh, industrialist who carry out the routine test they follow this procedure okay so the procedure I'm going to tell you is based on this and the procedure which is included in this document I'm not going to give you the procedure uh, which is there in your textbook right so this is the practical procedure and which is used worldwide so let's say what is the procedure first you need to carry out this test in the dry place right as this is uh, the practical we are going to perform is based on the routine test you have to carry out it in the dry place right if it is type test you have to carry out it as a dry test and as a wet test in wet test the water is you know uh, sparkle on the equipment so that it will also check whether the uh, insulation of the equipment last in 
uh, rainy seasons or not but in case of routine test you don't need to carry out the uh, you know wet test which is specified in the uh, relevant iec standard next is apply the voltage of a value which is sufficiently low yes to start with you have to apply a low voltage because if you apply suddenly a high voltage then it would lead to uh, over voltage and you have to avoid that so you have to apply a smaller voltage at starting and gradually increase the voltage up to its rated insulation level step by step you have to increase the voltage up to its rated insulation level now this rated insulation level is again specified in the its relevant iec standard so i'll tell you the iec standard which is uh, there so it is iec 62271-1 which is applies to ac switch gear designed for indoor and outdoor installation having voltage above 1000 volt so this standard will give you the rated insulation values for every uh, rated voltage so let me show you that page of the document which shows uh, the rated insulation uh, level for uh, the rated voltage uh, so here you can see this is the iec 62271 uh, which specifies the rated short duration power frequency withstand voltage for the for this uh, rated voltage so here you can see uh, this is the different values for different rated voltage as you can see we are going to perform uh, our test on 12 kv so for 12 kv uh, the power frequency withstand voltage is 28 kv okay so we are going to apply 28 kv of voltage to our equipment and we are going to check whether our equipment uh, withstand uh, that voltage or not so uh, here you can see there are different values for different rating the 145 kV 170 kV 245 kV so if you want to uh, read all this value you can pause the video and you can read it let me show you some other also here is the some special values for the areas including North America which is some altitude issue may be there so these are the different values so here you can see there are more values we have for 300 kV, 365 kV, 420 kV, 550 kV and 800 kV. So you can pause this video and you can have a look at all these values uh, which specifies the uh, insulation level. You can also find the rated lightning impulse withstand voltage right here. Okay. So if you want to have a look at it, pause the video and go through it. So when you will reach to the rated insulation level, you have to maintain that insulation voltage for 60 seconds. This is the next step. Uh, in IEC, it is specified that you should maintain the rated insulation level up to 60 seconds. And up to 60 seconds, if your uh, equipment withstood that voltage, then it is a quality insulation and you can go with the uh, product. Okay. So next step is after 60 seconds, gradually reduce the voltage to zero position. You have to reduce it gradually. Don't. And if your equipment withstood this voltage, then you will get the certificate of type test and uh, it, it will show that your equipment can withstand the rated insulation level uh, without any doubt. Right. So uh, this is the standard procedure which is specified in IEC standard. Now let's go and do the practical now before that uh, let me tell you we are going to perform our practical on 12 kv ring main unit which is also called as rmu and uh, we are for that we are having a high voltage test kit and uh, as we have seen in the uh, document the rated insulation level for 12 kv is 28 kv so we are going to apply 28 kv to our ring main unit and we are going to check uh, whether our ring main unit will withstand this 28 kv or not okay so let's get to the practical this is the ring main unit on which we are going to perform our test uh, and who has the uh, rated voltage as 12 kv and this is the uh, high voltage generator which generates the high voltage the red electrode shows the live uh, uh, live conductor uh, which we have to connect to the main and this small uh, conductor shows the ground uh, which we have to connect to the ground now let's see the connections so simply you have to connect the ground uh, to the metal part of your equipment or you if the ground is available you can connect it to the ground and the main or the live conductor you have to connect it to the measuring phase so here we are going to measure it into uh, y phase so we are connecting it to the y phase okay so here we go there so we have connected it now let's see 
so this is the control panel uh, through which we are going to control the applied voltage its timing and we are going to reduce it after the 60 second so now as we have made the connections now let's apply the voltage let us now the HT is on that is high tension now we are going to increase the voltage gradually see as you can see the at initial condition voltage is zero now we have to increase the voltage step by step so here we are going to increase the voltage and we are going to take it to the 28 kV so here you can see now it is near to 20 kV we have to increase it up to 28 kV as per the relevant IEC standard okay so few more and there you go and this is uh, near to 28 kV and now we are going to maintain uh, this voltage up to 60 seconds and uh, let's see whether our equipment withstood uh, can withstand this voltage or not so here you can see uh, the 60 seconds is over and now we are going to gradually reduce the voltage there you go and let's take it to the zero so as uh, our equipment has passed the routine test and uh, we can go with our product don't forget uh, to take out the static charge remaining there this is the uh, rod which is connected to the ground and you have to take out all the you know static charge if there are any uh, so that there will be no chances of flash or shock so if you want to have the detail about static electricity you will find the link to the video which describe the static electricity in the description So this is how high voltage test as a routine test is carried out. So I hope this video helped you guys and if you think this video is really helpful please do share it with your friends so that uh, they will also get uh, some help from this video. So if you are interested in more interesting topic uh, like this uh, you can visit my website that is theelectricalguy.in and if you want to have future updates you can log in to the website or you can like us on uh, Facebook, Instagram or you can just simply subscribe to my channel uh, on YouTube. Okay so guys thank you for watching, keep watching, keep learning.